Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel where we talk about quick and easy, delicious, nutritious, and low carb food. Today, we're making brisket. Now, in case you're new to brisket, it comes from the lower chest of the cow. Since this area supports the weight of the cow, it has a lot of connective tissue that traditionally takes a very long time to break down and make tender. Now, this recipe might be considered sacrilegious to my fellow pitmasters or barbecue chefs out there, but we are going to use an Instant Pot. By no means does this replace the smoky, juicy brisket that can only be created smoking for eight to 12 hours or beyond in a Texas style barbecue. However, for us home cooks, especially during the winter time, this is a great alternative to create a moist, juicy, flavorful, and a little bit smoky brisket that we can enjoy at home. Also, we can create such a brisket with minimal work and a cook time of less than two hours. So here, I'm just breaking down a whole brisket to manageable pieces that will fit inside my six quart Instant Pot. So I've cut it in half and I'm gonna put the point aside and work on the flat. Now look at the nice fat that runs through the lean meat almost like some pork belly or a slice of bacon. Now all I'm gonna do is trim the excess fat so that the fat cap, especially on the two ends, are closer to a quarter inch in thickness. Now while I'm doing that, it's worth noting that essentially brisket comes in two parts. One is the flat, which is what I'm working on here. And this is more of the show piece that you'll see served in you know, barbecue shops, uh, because it has that nice, even thickness uh, for cooking. Now the point, however, has more of the fat, and I actually prefer eating the point if you're not um, afraid of some uh, fat, as the flavor is all in that fat. Now I also started with a 13-pound brisket, so this flat here is roughly half of it, so call it six pounds or so, and probably half of this will fit in my Instapot. So making about three pounds at a time. Now I realize I am trimming off a lot of the fat, but don't worry, we're not gonna waste any of it. I'm gonna take that fat and make some good beef tallow in another video, and I'll put links to that below. All right, this looks pretty good. Time to season. Now I'm basically putting a dry rub on this brisket and gonna leave it overnight to both marinade and somewhat dry out a little bit. So I'm using Lari's seasoning salt, covering both sides generously, and also using some garlic powder, as I just like that flavor. And that's all you really need. Any additional flavors and smokiness we can put into our Instant Pot braising liquid. Now you could directly put this into the Instant Pot and make this right away. I do like to have this in the fridge overnight so the salt can penetrate the inside of the brisket and the outside dries a bit for a nicer sear. Now don't forget to season the edges. All the sides if possible. And one more side just to make sure we get all that flavor everywhere on this piece of brisket. Now I'll just put this in a baking tray to store in the fridge overnight as the rub does its work. Here I'm just showing you the trimmed point on the left and the trimmed flat that we just saw on the right. All right, it's the next day. And you can see that the flat we were working on has changed color a little bit and has dried out some. There's no juices left on the cutting board. I'm just gonna cut this in half to ensure that the piece fits inside the Instant Pot. I probably should have cut this in half yesterday so I could season uh, the part uh, where the cut is, but it's okay. We can just season it right here. And that's why you can always make this the same day if you wanted to, if you didn't want to take the step to do this overnight. 
and the whole process would only take about two hours. I'm just going to marvel at these for a second as they are beautiful pieces of meat. All right, so first I'm going to set my Instant Pot to the saute function so I can sear the sides of the brisket and get a little bit of that Maillard reaction going to build a little crust and get a little of that smoky f flavor. As the Instant Pot is heating up, I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil just to ensure that the bottom doesn't burn. Then I'm gonna add the brisket, fat side down, so some of that fat can render and form a nice crust. I'm searing a total of two minutes per side, but flipping each minute. As you can see, the Maillard reaction is occurring and the sides are starting to brown. After another minute, I'm flipping over to the last side for the last minute. You can see that a nice crust is developing. Now lastly, I'd like to sear the edges for about 30 seconds per edge, just to ensure we get a bit of a golden crust on the sides as well. Here's the second side. And then the third side. And the fourth side. Now, if yours doesn't stand by itself, you can always use a pair of tongs to hold it in place. And that's it for the searing. Let's set this aside as we deglaze the bottom of the pot. Now, it's very important to do this step so that the Instant Pot doesn't go into the alarm setting of uh, something burning. So you want to make sure to scrape off all the bits and pieces on the bottom with about half a cup of water. At this point, we'll cancel the heating so we can add the brisket to the pot. I like to add it with the fat cap side up so as it renders, it belts into the brisket. Now to build our braising liquid. First, add a teaspoon of salt. Then we'll grind in about a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Add a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper generously about a teaspoon of garlic powder and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. That will really help tenderize and break down the meat. Next, I'd like to add a little bit of Italian seasoning, about half a tablespoon, and a cup of chicken stock. Now we want to add enough water to almost cover the brisket so that it is cooking completely in the liquid. Here I'm adding another four cups or so. And lastly, we want some liquid smoke. This gives that smoky flavor without hours on the barbecue. So about half a capful or about half a teaspoon is all you'll need. Feel free to add whatever seasonings you like. So we'll twist on the lid and ensure it's on the seal position. Now we can set the pressure cooker or Instant Pot to, I like to go 80 minutes. And so that's an hour, 20 minutes here. Now you can adjust this up or down by five minutes or so, depending on how thick a cut of meat you have and how loose a texture you like at the end. Two hours later. Now it's been a total of about two hours as it took some time for the Instant Pot to get up to temperature and to pressure the 80 minute cook time, and then the natural release to ensure that the pressure is dissipated and I can set it to vent and open up the cap. Let's take this bad boy out and see what we've got. Now you can already tell that this is super moist as it is quite heavy with water and it is very soft, almost falling apart. Now make sure to save this liquid gold as it can be used to make au jus or to use for broth. And there it is, a perfectly tender, juicy piece of brisket that's melt in your mouth and smoky and flavorful. 
Now it's important to let this rest for at least 15 minutes so that when you cut into it, it doesn't completely turn to mush. Let's slice one up, shall we? Now we're slicing against the grain, being very careful not to tear the already falling apart pieces, but to actually create nice, even, about quarter inch slices. Look at that. You can see the muscle fibers already starting to separate, making a very tender slice of brisket. You can also see as I'm supporting with the tongs, just squeezing a little bit, so much juice is coming from this brisket. That makes a very moist and juicy piece of brisket. Now, if I had let this cool for a little longer, it would be easier to slice. However, I just couldn't wait that long. I need to dig in right away. All right, one last slice and then we're ready to eat. And here you are, three slices of juicy, tender brisket. Let's dig in, shall we? We'll first add a little bit of that flavorful sauce that came from the Instant Pot. No added salt needed, plenty of flavor already. You can also put barbecue sauce or any other sauces you like. But look at this, you don't even need to cut into it. It just pulls apart. You could probably eat this with a spoon if you wanted to. Mmm, very, very good. Super tender, moist, and full of flavor. Some smoky flavor from that liquid smoke, but plenty of salt and all the seasonings. You can really taste that in the brisket, but mostly you taste the beefy flavor of the meat itself. Again, no need to cut this at all. It just totally pulls apart. You can see it's super juicy, moist, it is really, really good. Now I've had my fair share of really good Texas barbecue with all that bark. Now there is no replacement for that authentic barbecue, but this comes pretty darn close. And for the amount of time that was spent, two hours in the Instant Pot, you really cannot go wrong. That's it for a quick and easy, juicy, smoky, and tender brisket. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and have a great day.